Michelle of Slovenska Kuchina and welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. There are two kinds of flan city, a soft version and a brittle version. The soft version I featured last week and I'll put a link to it just up here. And I'll also put a link for it in the description below. This week I'm featuring the crisp version that doesn't require any yeast. In Slovenian we call them krhki flan city. They're also known as sweet cristoli, angel wings, or kroštule. They are considered a traditional Slovenian carnival food. Well, basically, any deep-fried carb covered in sugar is. Like our famous krofi, donuts, mishke, fritters. I will also provide links to these video tutorials below for you. Okay, all this carnival talk is making my taste buds do a little happy dance, so let's just get started. So we're gonna begin by weighing out 40 decagrams of flour, which is equivalent to 400 grams or two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to sift it into a bowl. And then we're also gonna be adding in two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. If you haven't already done it, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great recipes. Now we need one quarter cup of oil, which we're going to be adding to a separate bowl. Then we're gonna also add in half a cup of white wine, as well as eight tablespoons of full fat sour cream, four egg yolks, and then of course, a tablespoon of rum, a pinch of salt, a package of vanilla sugar, and for the last ingredient, freshly grated lemon zest, about a tablespoon. And now we're just gonna wanna beat this all together until we get it all nicely combined for about a minute or two. Perfect, and now we're just going to be adding in our flour. I'm using a spatula at a time, and we're gonna keep adding it in until we notice that the flour and the egg mixture have combined together and we get a nice dough. You may or may not need to use all of the flour, um, but if you have to add a little bit more, you can do so. As you can see, the, the dough didn't form into a ball, so what you're wanting to do is just to combine everything together, and then we're just gonna finish it off on our table here we're just gonna sprinkle with a little bit of flour and we're just gonna roll it out until we get a really nice soft dough. And then we're just going to let it rest for about an hour. Okay, so now that the dough has been resting, we are ready to roll it out. And we're going to roll it out into the shape of a rectangle. And now we're gonna wanna roll it out until it's really thin, like the spine of a kitchen knife. Exactly like this. 
perfect. And now we're just going to cut our strips and we want them to be about two inches wide. Okay, and now we're just going to shape our pieces. So what we need to do is we're going to be cutting them four inches in length, and then we're just gonna cut a little strip in the center of each of them. Now, all you need to do is follow along to see how my mom is actually making these flansati. You're going to take one corner and you're gonna just flip it through into the center and then just lay it out. And in the meantime, we are going to warm up our oil. We want the temperature to be about 160 degrees. And then as soon as we're done finishing all these up, we're going to be placing them into the oil. Okay, so the oil is warm enough. We have it at about 160 degrees. We're gonna be placing them in. You don't wanna overcrowd it. And you also wanna make sure that you have enough oil in there where they are able to float on top so they're not touching the bottom. We're just using a wooden dowel and we're flipping them over to the other side once we notice that it's got that beautiful, nice golden color. I like to use sunflower oil or canola oil to fry up my flancetti. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a great big thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any new recipes. See you again next time when I share another delicious recipe from my Slovenska Kuhinja. Until then, na zdravje and dobar tek. Adio!